Have you seen records of sea animals from more than 300 years ago? Horseshoe crab, sea crab, pufferfish, sea snail. These are the easy guesses. But what about the fish that has a long beak and blows a fountain of water from its back? It's actually a whale, although it looks quite different from the gigantic creature today. You might think this is a salamander, but according to the writer descriptions, it's actually a crocodile. All these exquisite yet quirky paintings were from a book titled Hai Tu, Tu, Catalog of Marine Creatures Collected in the Qing Palace, written by Nie Huang in the mid-17th century. To finish the book, Nie Huang visited coastal areas in East and South China, recording more than 300 species. He also put down rare animals in local folklore. That's why some of his records were inaccurate or even fictional under modern biology. Behind the stunning world depicted in this book are ancient Chinese constant exploration and vivid imagination of the sea. Surprisingly, the ocean myths have far-reaching impacts in China today. This is the Chinese white dolphin, a rare mammal under first-class state protection in China. In ancient books, the animal is often witnessed in the calm sea, so it's respected as mazu fish named after the Chinese sea goddess. Since 2018, the Chinese White Dolphin Protection Day is set on the 23rd day of the third lunar month, the same day as the birthday of Mazu. Apart from animal welfare education, China has set up protected areas for Chinese white dolphin and use scientific methods to monitor population health. In the waters around Jiangmen City alone, there are more than 300 Chinese white dolphins. The area also sees a high proportion of younger individuals. The population of the once endangered species has recovered gradually.